Hello everyone, welcome to knowledge sheet number 11 as we had discussed in the last that how to become Anasuya, what is the meaning of Anasuya. Today we will learn what is Asuya and Anasuya. These are two different mindsets. Okay, So, there is a certain mindset that always finds faults. Even with the ideal companion or the most beautiful painting, such a person will find something wrong. This kind of mindset is called Asuya. It can never know the sacred knowledge. For wisdom, for higher wisdom, for going towards the self, you need to be Anasuya. If you are constantly finding faults, you know, Asuya is finding fault or seeing a malicious intent everywhere. You know, when I did the Art of Living program, I started sharing this pe with people that, Are, you should experience this. So, the many, some of them, you should ask me that, you get some commission, I think, out of, why are you telling me to do this course? They would find out what is this person's intention? You know, it was just purely I wanted them to experience what I experienced because it was so beautiful. But the Asuya mind, what will it do? Isko kya chahiye? Something this person must be getting. That is why this person is telling me. You know, rather than appreciating this, uh, the gesture of sharing, people would find some malicious intent in that. Suppose it is windy and you shut the door, but at that very moment someone was just about to walk in, he will think that the door has been slammed with his face. This is Asuya. This is wrong perception. Even after 10 years of friendship, you, you find some fault and decide to break it off. Now you do not see any good from that entire relationship. This is Asuya. See, it is sometimes very difficult to come out of a heartbreak, you know, because of this Asuya mindset. Amazing time has been spent. That is why you were in that relationship. But something did not work out. That's fine. So you break off the relationship. And then what, what does the Asuya mindset do? That entire period that you spend with that person, everything you start finding wrong. Everything was a torture. Everything was painful. No, So this is Asuya. The moment you are off the spiritual path, you feel that everything on the path was all wrong. This is Asuya. This also people have met. They were very, very enthusiastic about it. They were very involved and then maybe something happened and then they broke off. And then they will start using a lot of putarka, like illogic. They will start finding faults with everything about the organization. So this is a mindset issue. This is Asuya. Asuya is when a child says, mother, you don't love me. The child's vision is wrong. If the mother does not love the child, who will? It frustrates the mother. Asuya is when someone comes to me and says, Gurudev, you don't love me. If I don't love you, forget about it. Who else in the world will? Yet, a master never becomes frustrated. Knowledge is different at different levels of consciousness. At a particular point, you become Anasuya. Anasuya means being devoid of fault-finding eyes. Krishna tells Arjun that he is giving him the royal secret. See, the highest wisdom was is called royal secret because he is Anasuya. You are not finding fault in me, though you are so close. This is the beauty. You are so close to me and yet you are not finding faults in me. From a distance, it is easy to miss a fault in somebody. Up close, no fault escapes you. See, as a Asuya, it is very difficult to have good relationships, long-lasting relationships. Because then you get attracted to some quality, some per something about that person, and then you come close. Then you start spending time with each other. After a few weeks, few months, few years, because you are close, no fault escapes you. And if you are an Asuya, what you are going to do? You are going to hold on to those faults and break off the relationships. Even craters cannot be seen from afar. Up close, even a smooth surface has imperfections. If you are only interested in the holes, you will not see the magnitude of things. If you are not in Anasuya, knowledge cannot blossom in you. Then there is no point in giving knowledge. If a mirror is dusty, you can clean it. But if your eyes have cataract, any amount of dusting the mirror will not help. You cannot keep correcting the world, correcting the people around you. 
and try to fit them in in the tracks that you have laid for them in. No, it's not possible. You have to remove the cataract, which is in your own eyes. Then you will see that the mirror was already clean. So, asuya, what is asuya? Fault finding eyes. Gives you the idea that the whole world is not sharp, the whole world is no good. Everybody is miserable, everybody, nobody can be trusted in this world. All are useless people. I am the only nice guy. Yeah? Anasuya is knowing it is my own vision of the world that is blurred. This awareness that comes that, okay, it is my vision that is blurred. And once you discover you have the wrong vision, half of the problem has already disappeared. The aware, this awareness itself is good enough. Hmm? So, be a anasuya, devoid of the fault finding eyes. Amazing. So, the next knowledge is very interesting. It is about impression and expression. So, till then, goodbye.